China's population trends have over the years been largely shaped by the one-child policy, which was introduced in 1979 to slow population growth. Families that violated the rules face fines, loss of employment and sometimes forced abortions. The one-child policy also led to a severe gender imbalance in the country. The traditional preference for male children led to large numbers of girls being abandoned or placed in orphanages, or cases of sex-selective abortions or even female infanticide. China scrapped its decades-old one-child policy in 2016, replacing it with a two-child limit, which has failed to lead to a sustained upsurge in births. The policy change will come with supportive measures, which will be conducive to improving the country's population structure, fulfilling the country's strategy of actively coping with an aging population, the official Xinhua News Agency said. Among those measures, China will lower educational costs for families, step up tax and housing support, guarantee the legal interests of working women, and clap down on sky-high dowries. Generations of Chinese people have lived without siblings and are used to small families. Affluence has meant less need for multiple children to become family supporting workers, and young professionals said they'd rather give one child more advantages than spread their income among several kids. Human rights organization Amnesty International said the policy, like its predecessors, was still a violation of sexual and reproductive rights. The country has already more than 1.4 billion people. That is just over 5% more than a decade ago. The birth rate remains weak and the population is getting older. The number of Chinese citizens between 15 and 59 has dropped by 7%, while the number of people over 60 continues to rise. Although this changes on the policies of China, many people remain with the idea of having just one or two children as a maximum. If there are better conditions, then we'd have more kids. Nowadays, young people have to buy a house. This amount of pressure is already huge. And then you have to consider the cost of the child's education. Two is too exhausting. We can't afford it, these women say. The government subsidies are not enough. Do you think China will overcome this demographic issue?